for Pisces, some who rise in the Venus signs. It's for Pisces, some who rise in the Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate every single one of you. I am back at home. It was a pretty good trip. I appreciate all the love. Thank you for tuning in. If y'all got any questions, let's go ahead and shoot them right now. While I'm actually in the working zone, let's go ahead and shoot those right now. That D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. Because I know my Pisces has got a lot of questions, especially about yesterday's reading. If you didn't get to check out the quick reading yesterday, go check that out and watch this today because we're doing a continuation. This is Pisces part two. I appreciate all my Pisces out here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment if you're interested in just a personal or general reading, just a Zodiac reading. You can check out the description below as well on prices. And my cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N, so you can feel free to send. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody can have a 14-year-old, possibly. Happy birthday to all my cancers. We are in water season, so you could be feeling a little bit emotional right now. Somebody could be 44, possibly, maybe 43. Somebody could be 34, maybe 15, possibly 40. You could have a 15-year-old. Okay, so we got balance, stability, standing firm. Okay, so for a lot of my Pisces, this is really big for you, stability. I keep saying this every reading because I don't want y'all to think I'm repeating myself, but at the same time, when it comes to certain things, a lot of Pisces' energy just doesn't change. And that's one thing that y'all don't change on. Y'all want stability. Like, that's very, like, important for a partner. If they can't provide that nonsense out of 10, you're not going to be interested. This is male and female, not just the females. The men need stability, too, but it's different requirements. Everybody has their own terms of stability. So, we have deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences. So, we got somebody from the past trying to come back around. We got somebody from the past trying to come back around. They might be stable this time. We have fear, victimization. So somebody feels like they took an L in this situation. I don't know if this is you or possibly them. We have scarce purpose. We have harvest, gathering of the blessings. So something big is about to happen. Somebody could be 44. We got something big about to happen for Pisces. This is a big blessing coming. This could be through a friend because we got friendships. This could be through a friend for some of my Pisces is out here. We have death and rebirth. So we got the death card. So something's coming to an end. Darkness, the light. Something's coming to an end and something's about to begin and this is going to be really good for Pisces. So I kind of like the death card because it's just it doesn't mean somebody's dying. People always take it as somebody's dying like, <laughs> no, that's not. It's more of a just a rebirth. Something's coming to some bullshit. It's coming to an end, I'm saying. This is a good death. This is a good death. For my cross watches, once again, this energy can be resonated because I do feel like we have a little bit in the house just trying to figure out Pisces right now. A lot of people don't understand you. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The end to a tough cycle approaches. That's why we received that death card. Something's definitely coming to an end here. Luck is on your side. So this is going to be something beneficial for you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, possibly. We have step outside your comfort zone and it's time to release negativity. This could be a Scorpio. So something that makes you comfortable is pretty negative. It's not really helping you. So I need for you to kind of stray away from that and let's get uncomfortable real quick because we got something better coming in. A personal issue reaches resolution. This could be a cancer for some of you. We are in cancer season. Happy birthday to all my cancers. This could be a Taurus for some of you as well. Your dreams need a practical plan. So for a lot of my Pisces, it looks like you are chasing something, but you got to be realistic with yourself at the same time. We keep getting a lot of new birth cards. We have a new start is coming. So something new is definitely about to happen. This could be with an Aries for some of you. It's time to take action. So you're going to be going after something full force. You could have one of these signs in your charts. This could be a Leo for some of you as well. We have confidence is the key to your success. So that's going to be what we need in order for Pisces to succeed right now. Pisces got to believe in Pisces. <laughs> Pisces has to believe in Pisces. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. And I appreciate all the love. Y'all, Pisces, y'all have such great energy. I did not, honestly, before I got into Tarot Reader, I never really knew much about Pisces. But as I've gotten into it and I've gotten to know a lot of my clients, y'all are really, they say y'all are the nicest sign. And I see why for a lot of you. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. So we have, I'm becoming a better person. Somebody has something they want to say to you, and this is important. This is somebody that you could be divorced from, separated from, or just somebody that's been on your mind. I'm becoming a better person. I feel you even though we are apart. 
I couldn't let you get close to me. I hear who I really am from you. I hope that one day you can forgive me. You and I were too young. So for a lot of my Pisces out here, this connection didn't work because y'all just wasn't mature enough. Or a lot of you are saying, nah, that wasn't me. It was them. It could have been some things about you too that you just didn't really notice. But I'm seeing that a lot of you weren't mature. And the person you were dealing with wasn't either. And that's why I didn't work. I want to. I'm starting to understand our connection. This is somebody that you're currently around right now. I am a distraction from your pain. I've lost myself for a little while. We both know I am not the one for you. So some of you are dealing with somebody right now. Y'all both know that it's very temporary and it's not going to last. But it looks like, I guess, both of you just trying to see who's going to end it first. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.